Hey guys, welcome back. Super quick video because we have to get going. Uh, it is 5.30 right now, um, mid-November, it's getting darker quick. And uh, we have rattlesnake farm, feeder running, and the pigs have been in there for weeks now, early, like 6 p.m., 6.30, 7 p.m. Uh, we haven't been out there for a long time, so they get comfortable, they're coming out early. Uh, my guys with me, we're gonna load up some corn in the can in real quick. Haul butt over there, put some corn in the ground because I think the feeder is empty. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully get some, some big hogs over there because some big hogs are showing up. The wheat field down there has oats in it now. I don't know what the hogs are doing with oats, but we'll, uh, we'll find out tonight. So we just put down corn here at Rattlesnake Farm. Um, went over to another property just down the road where I set up a trap last night. So now we're east of Austin, Copeland area. We trapped and GPS tagged hogs over in the hill country, Marble Falls. Now what I want to see is what the pigs over here in the east of Austin do, Copeland area. Here we don't have big bodies of water like Colorado River limiting these hogs in their travel patterns so much. We have Brushy Creek around here but it's a fairly small little creek, uh, especially right now because uh, we haven't had rain for a long time. I want to see how far these hogs go over here. We know that hill country, that one night was a 15 mile um, track. I want to see what's what's happening here. So that's why we have a trap. I just purchased a trap. Hopefully it works as good as the other traps we have in the other place. So we'll find out. We just went over there to check what the trap is saying and the trap door was closed. So something tripped that, that door last night or maybe even today. The trap door was closed. And then as we approached that, Micah was looking in the, in the thermal camera here on the thermal turret uh, for any signs of, of hogs. didn't see anything. But then with my bare eye, all of a sudden, at the brush line, right next to the brush line, I see something pretty dark. It looked like a hog. And I looked through my, my scope real quick, and sure enough, it was a hog, but it was all wet. So I, I, got, I barely got any heat signature of it. That's why Micah couldn't see it in the, in the thermal turret. And then all of a sudden, the hog disappears in the brush line. So we put some more corn down around the trap, in the trap too, uh, and set the trap door again. So I'm hoping maybe even tonight we might have some hogs in there. And I, I did bring the GPS tracker, so if we do have some hogs in the, in the trap, I think this dude will be doing some pig wrestling later. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm, I'm in. You're in? I'm in, yeah. Right, I got good. my gloves. I'm, I'll do a video, so. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's hit the tank here at 6.30. Then we uh, put some corn down earlier and set the camera. Uh, we saw some fresh wallows in the, around the tank. I think tonight is going to be a good night. I think we're going to see quite a few hogs tonight. So stay tuned. Let's go do some killing. So I'm quite annoyed with myself. I spent now probably like three hours here. Nothing came in. Uh, it was so quiet until the very end. Micah decides to take a gander and walk over to the fence line, be able to watch the the, uh, the field over here a little better. All of a sudden there's one hog coming at the corner of the tank. I see it behind the brush. Watch it take a bath, which was pretty fun to see. And all of a sudden, I was 
waiting for it to go back to the feeder, but it didn't. All of a sudden it gets out, actually picks up speed almost as it has a flight to catch somewhere and like just takes off. So stop it with a hay. Hey. Now we know the hay works. It only works on hawks which are not fleeing though. Any fleeing hawks, you wouldn't be able to stop like that. But a hawk which doesn't know what's happening right now, you say something, anything really. You can say schnitzel for, for what, what I care. It would make it stop. It stops, gives me the perfect shot opportunity. What do I do? I pull it. Pull the shot. Hit somewhere low. We found some skin over there, so probably grazed him on the bottom or something. And he just takes off. I tried to do one full up shot, but I'm just pissed. That was a bad shot. So annoyed. I'm done here for today, or at least for now. It's just too frustrating. Nothing's coming in. I'm gonna head over to the other place where the trap is. We missed that other boar earlier and see if there's something out there. Hopefully this night turns around, but so far, rather frustrating. I bet this is the one that was in that, uh, come through uh, Roger's place. I'm telling you, man, that 308, that first shot went right through him. I mean, you can see him bleeding out on the thermal. Yet he still ran. Because I think this was the first shot because he dropped him. I thought he was down for good. So he just got up. Rugged Razor. This is my first time to use it tonight. Uh, I thought it sounded great. My ears definitely are ringing. Uh, new build for me. Put this thing together. Uh, light AR-10. Not as light as a Rome rifle. It's still what I want to end up going with. But uh, superb driving by Ronnie. I mean, he, this field was uh, super rough. And uh, what were you going about 30 miles an hour of that terrace? And this guy, he's a pretty good size. I don't think he knew what was what was getting ready to happen. So. He angled, we kind of coasted in, took the first shot. I hit him behind, just below the spine, and it dropped him, sorry. And uh, as we circled back around, he gets up, running slow. I think I put one shot here, and then it looks like Ronnie finished him off, but he was a tough old guy. Um, always exciting. Nice. Nothing gets more exciting than that running gun. You're over here across the fence, telling 
I can hear you talking. We're gonna go. We're gonna run again. This. I'm like, here, here we go. It's like, get the mind ready. Oh, we, we kind of needed that too after standing over there for like three hours or so, and almost no movement. Then actually, the, that missed shot. So that, that annoyed me quite a bit. So that made it made up for it. I think this is the guy we were when we first showed up here, checking the trap. There was one. Is down he by wet the though? He doesn't look wet. He doesn't even look muddy. Maybe a little, but that. Yeah, I think the other one we saw. I mean, he didn't even show up in the thermal. I only saw it because I saw a dark spot next to the, the tree line. Yeah. I don't think it was him. But that's the kind of pattern I see quite a bit on the on the camera, on rattlesnake farms. So we have quite a bit of bit of these. Uh, the spotted hogs out here. Short and thick. Short snout. <clears throat> when he's big enough, I thought we had two hogs. So last night didn't get much better. We had two lone boars come in. Uh, one we did the run and gun on, and the second one um, at the close to the trap we recently put up there actually. And it was a sink shot. Mike and I both took a shot, and he went down pretty quick. Um, both boars were in the larger side, so good sized boars. Uh, but ultimately, the whole night we saw three boars, and that's it. The first lone boar where I put the shot and uh, we couldn't find him so I think it was a pretty good miss we found some skin in the ground but that's it and the other two boars we get those in the ground but that's the, that's it for that night now the next day though and you guys can see behind me a big trap so this is now on Canyon Ranch uh, this trap has been out here uh, for a long time the owner set it up at some point and um, we want to find out now with the GPS tracker how are these hawks moving on Canyon Ranch? Uh, this is also a 1,000 acre place uh, and we had actually not a lot of luck getting a big amount of hawks or just staying on them con consistently without always having to hunt over a feeder. So that made it really hard uh, and or not as efficient uh, as we were hoping for. So the goal here is now trap a pick in this, this corral trap. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, there's a trip wire inside spread corn all around it and then also behind the trip wire once they hit this trip wire little uh, wooden piece comes out and the trap closes so once we have some in here I'm gonna put a GPS tracker on one of them and then hopefully run this tracker for about a week uh, out here and see where they travel that will be really interesting data as well this is a high fence place but I know they get in and out somewhere so let's find out where that is let's find out where they bet down and hopefully we can get in some more hogs here pretty quick <laughs> 